I, I love intrigue. Who likes true crime? Who like, you know, I, you know what? The only thing better than true crime is fake crime. That's right. I find that fictional crime is often the only thing better than real crime. The real crime stuff, true crime stuff, one of the reasons why it's exciting is because it really happened and it's really awful. But uh, fake crime is a lot more engaging because it's a lot more complicated a lot of times. It's going to be entertaining for longer because uh, a writer has time to work out all the areas where, you know, your regular run-of-the-mill criminal just fucks up. So, um, the... Uh, um, we, we talked about Gal Luft. We broke down his entire video. I, I showed you all of his stuff. And obviously, he was, he's the star witness. He's the guy. This is it. They're just going to get him on tape, and then it's all fucking done. He's going he's gonna to dot the T's and cross the I's, and he's going um, he's, he's to sell it. We don't, America doesn't need it anymore. And they, and, they, and, and, uh, and they certainly don't need another invisible witness you know, or somebody that's hard to find. They, uh, oh, holy shit. Um, next week, Agent X. That's what this literally says. Next week, Agent X to be televised. Comer drops major update on the Biden investigation. Unlike the other sad, boring, and just ignorant nonsense that we've seen so far. Um, I Let's see. I, I'm curious. You're curious. Agent X. Fantastic. It's like triple X, but you know, he's lost some weight. Uh, was that Ice-T or Ice Cube or somebody like, I forget who it was, but he was great. So good. Yeah, so this is, uh, this is uh, James Comer, uh, forget Gal Luft. Forget the fact that he worked for the Chinese government for uh, over a decade and that he was a, a paid employee of CEFC for four years. He was their senior advisor. And forget that he's been indicted on uh, arms trafficking and money laundering and lying to federal agents and all that. Blah, 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 blah. All right, well, that was that was last that was that was that's so 48 hours ago guys now it's agent x all right it's agent x aka the kidney um <laughs> Here we go. The, uh, Agent L, Agent X. Please tell me he calls him Agent X and not somebody on the fucking show. All right, Congressman James Comer joins me now exclusively with a... For exclusively for three minutes and 52 seconds because if we hold him longer, he starts flop sweating and we all get mad because he's bullshitting us again. Anyways. Big update from his committee, especially after what we heard today. House Oversight Huge. announcing a hearing next week, a week from today, with the two IRS whistleblowers, Gary Shapley and, of course, Whistleblower X. Congressman, good to have you. Whis Wait a minute. I like Agent X way better. Whistleblower X? That's because I didn't want my slave owner last name initially. Um, <laughs> Whistleblower X. Please let him... I, I desperately want him to be like a 60s like black radical. And and it turns out that that nickname came from what they were calling him. Let's just call him Whistleblower X. I mean, I swear to God, he's always got the he's got a afro and a giant headband, and he's always wearing like uh, like uh, Malcolm buttons. And like, all right, <laughs> Whistleblower X. back on we're very familiar with gary shapley on the show we talk uh, about him a lot yeah you really i i and has it helped it hasn't has it the other whistleblower has been described as a gay democrat Because these, oh God, this because that's how Republicans would talk about him. That's whoever this person is. That's I don't what. <laughs> the other whistleblower has been described as a 
gay Democrat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fall over. I'm gonna die during this clip. <laughs> Is there another kind? I'm wondering, will his identity be revealed? Will all? Are you just going to call him Mr. Gay Democrat? Will this be televised when you guys have this hearing? Well, he's a gay Democrat, so he's probably going to wear a zipper hood, right? And a pri he's got wrapped in a pride flag and you know, like probably a drag queen at this point, right? He's going to come in instead of giving an opening statement. He's going to read a storybook. Uh, and, uh, he's gonna come in, he's gonna groom some people, he's a gay Democrat, that's what they do. They got, it's gonna, uh, the chair now recognizes, uh, from the great state of Kentucky, Representative Groomer. Comer! Fuck! I, uh, sorry, it's the gay Democrat, he's sitting right there, it's throwing me off, I don't even know how to respond. It's gonna be televised, we hope Newsmax will cover it. Absolutely. America's gonna get to see who Witness X is. Wait, Witness X? Is it Whistleblower X, Agent X, or Witness X? I, at, this, at this point, it's Triple X at this point. Is this, are, are you going to be able to even air this during prime time? I, there's got to be some kind of a w warning or whatever, right? So, so let me get this right. Uh, you guys are going to have a gay Triple X hearing next week. Is that, am I hearing this right? <laughs> and uh, I think that uh, both witnesses are going to have a wealth of information that they're going to be able to share with the House Oversight Committee. Yeah, like, uh, where to buy gold shorts. They wear them in those, uh, marches all the time. They look fantastic. I always be concerned that, you know, just my luck, I'd put them on the day of the great parade, and, uh, I'd have a little shrink. It'd be a cold day for pride. You know, it'd be the one cold, uh, you know, one cold June, and this is maybe in October. Sometimes they have Pride October, and you, there'd be shrinkage, and here I am walking around, looking like I've got two Hershey's kisses, fight, <laughs> fighting with some leftovers. We have bank records. We have bank violations. We have very... We have bank violations? Wait a minute. Somebody sexually assaulted a bank? Where was Trump when it happened? Because the pretty much... I'm pretty sure... Trump has done his best to fuck banks for years. Very specific tax questions to ask. Oh, oh, sorry. Hold on. Uh, I got, did you feel that? I, sorry. Pretty specific tax questions? Oh, wait. Violations. We have very specific tax questions. Oh my God. Very, whew, very specific tax questions i'm i was i thought that talk about the gay democrat was getting us all steamy in here i i <laughs> the only we, we, they've got a lot of questions about very specific taxes the only person that uh, wants to talk about it is a gay democrat uh whistle uh whistle comber x what's his name i don't know to ask these whistleblowers and what we've learned from the transcript that they gave with the ways and means committee these two IRS employees knew a lot more than I would have ever dreamed about the Bidens and all the corruption uh, that's taken place with all the shell companies and the various different bank accounts. They didn't know about all the shell companies, Rob. Well, then how? Uh, well, then how could they know about the ones that you didn't? So th they're going to come out and talk about less than you've already mentioned, motherfucker. Oh God, it just. Like I, honest to God, I thought, I I thought, gay Democrat was the bottom of this whole thing. <laughs> honest, uh, honestly, no, just to do it. So, so these two witnesses that are coming next week know less than we've already heard about. Ah, uh, because they were told to stand down by the Department of Justice, but they knew about at least a third of them. <laughs> so, you're going to. Uh, bring people in next week for a big bombshell report because these guys know a third of what we've heard already. Motherfucker. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we've got some very specific questions. and Uh-huh. But obviously not about the other two-thirds that they don't know about that we already know about. Uh, can I? Would you like me to create some shit? I think that America's going to get to see firsthand...
a gay Democrat. I, we're good. I've seen lots of them. I'm cool. I've uh, I've, I've some very close friends. I got to be honest. Uh, you know, that are gay Democrats. It's true. Yeah, I might name. I might even know a couple of gay Republicans. Um, but mostly Democrats, I would say. Most mostly. Just how involved Joe Biden was in the family's uh, right. shenanigans and just. Mm. Criminal shenanigans. I knew it. I knew it. It's an Irish thing. That's the, that's a, that's, I don't know if you guys speak Irish, but that's a, that's Irish for crime family stuff. Sh shenanigans. Do they know about the shillelagh? What, what about, uh, uh, Agent Lucky Charms? Is he coming in? Just how corrupt. Or uh, uh, Agent Green Clovers? Purple Horseshoes? Anybody? what the Bidens were doing was. Right, and just to remind our viewers, is that when, when they started blowing the whistle on, on, on the IRS, basically trying to shut this down and give Hunter this sweetheart deal, they blew the whistle and they were removed from the case, which, talk about yep. obstruction of justice. Mm. Um, yep. Yeah, they were removed from the case. Now, who was blowing who? I'm confused, because I don't think it was the gay Democrat. I think it was the, uh, it wasn't, didn't, didn't Shapley blow first? I'm confused, I'm sorry, this is just stupid. You're, you're now demanding an unredacted copy of the FBI report made after the 2019 interviews with Gal Luft in Belgium. I don't know, that's Shapley, by the way. I, I don't think we have a picture of the gay Democrat. Um, I, mainly because I, don't th I think they refused to appear without their uh, 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 Sisters of Perpetual Mercy makeup or whatever. Uh, Luft claims that Biden took uh, huge amounts of money from the Chinese for beneficial policy decisions here in the United States. It is uh huh. And uh, it, 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 why did why did Gal Luft take the money from CEFC? Then did he do it for America? It is the most damning claim that we've seen, and and you're looking for more mm -hmm. information from the FBI. Tell us about that. Mm hmm. Well, Gal Luft worked for the same company that the Bidens worked for. Uh, no, no, they didn't work for that company. He did. He was the senior advisor. For four fucking years. CEFC. But yet the Department of Justice indicted Gal Luff for being an unregistered foreign agent. Now, I'm not saying that was the wrong thing for the Department of Justice to do. Right. I just think it's odd considering Hunter Biden worked for the same company and was paid about 25 times more than Luff. Uh, no, he, he didn't actually. Gal Luff was an employee of that company. But that's not even why... He's not even, vi he didn't violate FARA because of that. It's because of the money that was flowing into his think tank and arguably, I guess, some of the leverage shit he was doing with arms. But Luff knows exactly what CEFC was. He knew exactly what- You don't? It's, it, how long has it been? role the Bidens played in it, including Joe Biden. And the reason Gal left is important to our investigation, Rob, is he's one of the few people in the United States who actually was also on the payroll with the Bidens. So okay, hang on. Uh, first of all, uh, he's not in the United States. Um, he's a resident of Israel um, and he's on the run right now. And during that time, he was in DC, a uh, what's the word swamp creature for uh, the better part of a couple of decades, and he was paid on the regular. But in that video that he, from, by China, in that video that he put up, he argues that CEFC, the CEFC that he worked for, and that he was arranging for deals through, was a 501c3 uh, registered in, in Maryland. Which is, by the way, why the Maryland, uh, Attorney General, whatever, sent people. To the Bidens have never answered the question, what did you do to receive the millions of dollars that your family got from China? Gal Luft may have the answer to that. So he's. He may have. What, did he forget it at home when he met with the agents in Brussels? Well, what, what, what do you mean may have? Fucking may have. This was, Jesus Christ, man. This was 20... Fuck it, 2018. May have. A very important witness to us, and I just find it yeah. shocking that the day he turns up, the day he records that video to Miranda Devine at the New York Post, the Department of Justice unseals this indictment. He told them to. He told them to. 
They called his bluff. He called on the Department of Justice. He, he, as the defendant in the case, said, you can unseal it. That's enough of a case. You don't, you don't, you don't need to have a hearing when a fugitive says, show them what you're going to bust me for. Okay. He asked for it in the fucking video. We all watched it. It's not a mystery. He literally gave them permission and they did it that day. Yeah. And they indicted him for the same thing that I thought Hunter Biden should have been indicted for years ago. Let's, let's, let's just face the very obvious facts. They're caught. They're yeah, they're totally caught. They're caught. You know, Hunter Biden, uh, he was trying to sell Chinese guns to Kenya. He was trying to do it. Uh, the worst part is he worked for a Chinese company for four years, tried to get the son of a sitting vice president uh, engaged in some compromise. He failed, just like Gal Luft. I mean, they're the same criminal, basically the same person. I've never seen Gal Luft and Hunter Biden in the same room at the same time. I haven't seen it. They're caught. The DOJ is caught. Mm -hmm. It's all been caught. You, you have to be deaf, dumb, and blind to not understand this story. It's the most obvious thing I can imagine. Um, well, that, tell you what. Back up and explain it. Explain what money was given by whom, to whom, for what. What was the policy change? That, that was the result of this money changing hands. That should be the easy part. All you got to do, go back over, uh, I guess, Biden's senator, you know, record as a senator and as a vice president. And then anything he's done as president, just go through it. Anything he's, any bill he's tried to put through, anything. Let's see it. Go, go down the list of you know, everything. The fucking infrastructure bill, getting us out of Afghanistan. The most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to our country except my election. Um, go through all those things, okay? Then say, okay, these are the two big three, four suspect things that I didn't like that I think benefit China, which they don't. And again, uh, like, for fuck's sake, the... Biden came in, he left all the Chinese tariffs on and doubled down on them. The CHIPS Act alone set Russia back, uh, or, you know, China back a fucking decade. But what did he do? What, what's, give me one, just fucking one. Give me one thing he's done that you can go, clearly he wouldn't have done it otherwise. It, what, the administration was against it. He somehow made it happen. Even if, even, and the Congress voted against it, he wrote an executive order, he directed Iran-Contra style troop movements behind the scene. any fucking thing, anything, one fucking thing, one. It's, if it's that obvious, if it's that obvious, it shouldn't be hard, right? It shouldn't be difficult. But so far, for both of these idiots, it's fucking impossible. This is the part that aggravates me the most about this garbage. This is the part that drives me nuts every fucking day. Is just, what's the policy? Because again, even, let's say, let's take the Ukraine story and the idea that billion dollars, get rid of the prosecutor, benefit Burisma, and they've got compromise on Biden that, all right, all of the details supposedly about the corruption that's on the laptop and all that kind of stuff is out in the public domain. It's available. You can look at it. So going forward, what leverage would any, you know, Russian-based Ukrainians or Ukrainian-based Russians, what leverage would they have on Biden if this stuff's already out there anyway? How do you blackmail somebody with a billboard that's already up? You understand? If, uh, if you don't, uh, if, if you don't give me the money, I'm going to uh, pick people up at the old folks' home and drive them by this billboard. Like, how, how, do you, how do you control someone if it's all out in the open? If you don't have any extra leverage. So that, all right. And, and then again, even if you bought into the idea that, you know, Ukraine has compromised uh, Biden and that's why we're supporting them against Russia, which is fucking a, like a garbage reach, then who, who knew that leverage was there and was going to use it to keep Biden from supporting Ukraine from within it, if it was, you know, the Poroshenko, you know, uh, more the Yanukovych crowd that was pro-Russian that wanted to undermine Ukraine, who would have been the people to leverage uh, Joe Biden in this. 
they would have been the people around at that time who would try to use Compromat to get him to not come to Ukraine's aid. So none of that leverage works. And at that point, also, how the fuck do they time it so Russia decides to attack now? They're like, we're going to keep this shit on Joe Biden so he'll back us in case Russia... Atta- oh, shit, what do you know? When nothing... Else, it's just so stupid. Like, I don't... And again, uh, like, we've talked about China so many goddamn times, but I neither one of these dickheads can explain to me. None of them can. What are they getting? What are they getting in return? If it's that much money and it's that much control, give me one fucking thing. One. Uh, it's it, uh, And they can't. Congressman Comer, thanks for the update tonight. We look forward to the hearing next week. We, yep, a gay Democrat. I, we won't even be able to pick them out. There's so many of them. I mean, aren't they all gay? Isn't that what the Democrats are? They're just gay. It makes you gay. They've got a gay tractor beam. That's what they use on you. If you if you register a Democrat, you become gay instantly or whatever. That's why they try to do all these rights for LGBT because they want to expand their rights and not anybody else. Um, fucking hell. I, I swear to God, I'm still trying to figure out. Yeah. Yes. Bill Barr and, and Donald Trump were in charge of the DOJ when they went and interviewed Gal Luft. And apparently... Gal left his evidence in his other fucking pants and managed to lie so egregiously that Trump's DOJ <laughs> decided, A, he's not worth it as a witness. And considering what they'll accept as a witness, I mean, the dude had fucking Sidney Powell working as his attorney um, and Rudy Giuliani. I, for fuck, So if they let, the, the amount of stuff they let slide and they're still... They, they, they listened to Gal Luft in Brussels and went, pass. You know how desperate they have to be now to go back? Right? To go, you know what? Let me see that. Let me see that Gal Luft guy's shit again. I mean, maybe we were wrong to, say, to pass on it because it was garbage. Oh, my God. And then these two IRS agents who are mad because they were allegedly pulled off the case. Probably and and or like the the whole I can't wait till the gay Democrat when they make this poor person say this. But again, uh, if you're going to prove a quid pro quo, you got to prove the quo more than anything. The quid part, passing of the money, that's that can be hinky. But if you're going to make the case, you got to. That's why motive is so important. Nothing, fucking nothing. 